guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be working on the build around that really nice elevator from Better With Mods. So, I hope you guys are ready. Well, guys, welcome back. We have a bit to kind of do today. I want to do a lot of building. That's going to be the uh, main focus of today's uh, video, but I did go ahead and, and do what you guys had suggested in the uh, previous video. I think I may even move this platform and put it here. Um, but I did kind of make this a little bit bigger. I did kind of expand this out. Now you have a three by three on the inside, so it's a little bit more cozy and uh, not so cramped. And then I also changed the way this works. So um, I think this is even better of a setup. We have the same setup, but we we reversed it. So that way we have more room here that we can have, you know, to kind of surround this. So that way this is sticking out like a sore thumb and we can actually make the border around this have its own texture, have its own look, not be dirt or grass or anything, any blocks like that. And then we can have this in its own enclosed area. This little engine room is what I will call it. The, the, all the, where all the motion happens. And then uh, of course this back area here will also be covered as well. Um, so I just need to come up with a design. So I have all this wood over here that we're about to chop down. Um, and now I did also, uh, I did also release an update. So, um, if you guys are watching this, the update is currently live. It is 2.7 as of the time of this uh, specific video or the time of this, uh, the date, um, of this video. Um, cause it may be in the future. It may be a, a totally different version, but as of right now, the main fixes was you can no longer, uh, you know, break logs with just some random item or random tool in your hand, something other than your hand. Um, would would work. Uh, I have it set so now only specific tools will work. Uh, I mean, you can still use a pick on this, but you won't get wood. You'll get uh, the regular planks. But that was just one of the fixes. Um, one of the mods updated called Dungeon Tactics, which is a mod that adds uh, quite a bit of things into this pack. And, you know, the only thing I could figure out, they added the new rings into that mod. Um, and there was, there is no option to disable them. So you are stuck with these, uh, these, uh, like overlays that are inside of your, uh, crafting or inside of your, uh, inventory. Um, but each one of these correspond to a individual number. So this is one, two, three, and four on your ring slot. You can have up to four rings in your inventory. And these basically can be key bind to activate or deactivate those rings. Um, and the rings come from dungeon tactics. So... We take a look at rings. You can see here are some rings from Dungeon Tactics. And what you do is you enchant them. Those enchantments will be applied to this. And those enchantments work as uh, potion buffs. But uh, you should only be able to find these rings inside Dungeon Tactic chests. Or in uh, specific chests in uh, different locations. So, uh, like the inn and stuff like that. So it's a very late game, most likely. Um, you may find them uh, spread out through normal chests. Um, they're just going to be pretty rare. So, just keep a lookout, and you may actually find yourself a ring. I hope we can get some rings uh, before long. But, guys, let's go ahead and jump back into building. We're going to go ahead and, and chop all of these trees down. I don't know. Some of you guys may like that. It's, like, super satisfying for some. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try and chop down as many of these as we can. I'm going to work my way up. It is going to take a little bit to clear it out. It's not going to be like, uh, you know, you just chop the entire thing completely down. It's not going to work that way. Um, just because of how these trees are. Oh man, some of them, some of them work like that, some of them don't. Like up here, oh, like as you can see, we just ran out of our axe, so. We can easily make another one though, now that we have this set up, it's so much easier. We don't have to go to a crafting table, we can just, bam, make one and be good to go. Alright, our trees, yeah, the leaves should be thinning out soon. <laughs> And also, we're getting iron, I mean, as we're doing this. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I do want to build with this wood. It's what we're building everything with, so might as well stick to the theme, right? Might as well. There's no reason not to, at least in my, my book. If it works, don't fix it, right? Alright, so, we're getting this done. Also, I had some people uh, mention, uh, you know, talking about how I mentioned ALS in the uh, previous episodes. Um, and I, I called it a meme. Uh, and the reason I called it a meme is because it, it really did turn into one. I mean, I don't, I don't know about what you guys may have thought of it, but it really did. It really turned into one. And a meme is when, you know, a lot of people get together, uh, and share ideas, like share an idea. 
or share a, you know, pick, think of it as sharing a video. They shared the videos, that idea spread, and thus people copied it. That's exactly what a meme is. Um, and so, yeah, they kind of, it kind of went with that. Uh, and I mean, I'm sure a lot of people uh, did it to, per, you know, to help the actual cause, but there's also a lot of people that I'm sure that did it that had no intentions of donating, but, you know, that's just me. That's just my chosen rant. I didn't, uh, if I offended anybody, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I just, uh, you know, that's just what I would, would call it. Um, cause that's kind of exactly what it, what it really was. Um, but yeah. All right. So we have enough wood now. It is starting to kind of, you know, doze off a little bit, but, uh, let's, let's kind of come up with an idea here for this build because it's not going to be like a normal build because right here we have three and what we can do is possibly set each one of these in each corner. And I am going to kind of trim this, and uh, we can go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to take the button, though. I know how this is set up, so I'll set it up the right way later on. Um, but we can go ahead and get this area cleared out, because this is going to be the side that's facing the person. So as this thing starts to lower, we'll be able to see through these blocks. And uh, this is going to be a little bit different of a build. It's not going to be the same style as everything else, because it's a different shape, for one thing. Um, like, this is going to tear up. And it's going to have two sections, like you see here. Two sections. And it's going to be a little bit taller than all the other builds that we've done. At least off the ground so far. And it's making it a little bit easier because these platforms actually work as ladders. Which is very handy. Alright, let's go ahead and just extend this up. But right before it starts to get too dark, once it gets a little bit darker, I am going to go ahead and, and sleep. Bam. So let's go ahead and get this extended up. This is going to be the only section that is going to be built like this. Everything else is going to be built uh, pretty normal uh, in comparison. So there we go. Much like that. There we go. So it's going to be kind of, you know, it looks like a round building, but it really it's not going to be. It's not going to be at all. Let's go ahead and add this section here. And here's going to be a part that is going to look a little, a little weird from this point of view. But when we add other blocks around this, you'll never even notice. Uh, like, this will be completely covered. You won't notice underneath here either, because there's going to be a layer underneath all of this. So, it's getting dark. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. But as you can see, this is going to be the, uh, the the base structure for everything. So, uh, let's get on with it. So, a big part of this is also going to be stone brick. Much like all of our other builds, uh, stone is going to be a part of it. Except, uh, this is going to be a little bit better. Um, let's see, let's grab some cracked as well. And we'll grab some cobblestone to kind of go along with everything. There we go. And also we'll get our spade. I think it's called a spade. A trowel. <laughs> Not spade, trowel. My bad. Um, and then we're just going to make sure all of this stuff that we actually want it to be placing is in our main inventory here. And then we're going to start building with it. Now, this isn't going to stay like this, believe me. This is just uh, just kind of an outline right now. Now, this, these side, uh, the, the side that I'm building right now, this is probably going to stay permanent like that. Uh, we are going to add lights and stuff like that to this. Um, I think we have a little bit of redstone, or a little bit of glowstone, and we can probably add that with some redstone and make some nice lamps that light up and such. But as you can see, this is going to be the way it is, and uh, it's just going to be kind of random. All right, so that broke. So now we got to be random in our own right. I don't like being being random. There we go. Perfect. So this main elevator is done. That's um, honestly it's done. Um, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and and uh, open this up more because this is not gonna be how it's set up. We are gonna have some half slabs there though. So let's go ahead and get uh, some half slabs or not half slab stairs. And we can add, I think I'm going to do stone stairs. I think those will look a little bit nicer. There we go. Some stone stairs. There we go. So, so stone stairs. And I think we could probably um, add even more depth to this. But I think we're, we're, we're going to do that once we uh, start working on this other, other section. Um... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, and get this going. So, this is going to be extended out three. And then we have this section here. And uh, we did set this just in the right location. 
Um, and then we're going to build this up. This is going to extend across. And there we go. And we left just enough room so that way we could also do the same thing here. It doesn't get better than that. Look at that. Perfect. And we've covered just about everything. Um, so we're also going to extend this out three in this direction. And we're going to pull this uh, the same distance, except for this one is going to be a little bit offset. So one, two, three, and then four on, on this one. We'll fix that later. I'm not too concerned about that. But this one is going to be the weird offset. Did I did I go out too far here? Oh, yes, I did. Because this, like I said, this is offset. Um, so actually, let's fix this. This doesn't need to go out three. This needs to go out two. Just because of how it's uh, set up here. All right, we'll go two. And that will work. Perfect. All right, and we'll go ahead and extend this all the way out onto this one. There we go. So we kind of have the framework built. A little bit of framework. This is really just cover. This is nothing. We're going to actually put nothing in there. We're going to have nothing in this. It's just going to, we're going to build a roof is what we need to do. Um, now this section, we are going to kind of get a little fountain build up. I do want to make uh, an actual flowing water and we can do that uh, pretty easily with uh, kind of building up a little area with, uh, with dirt and then making it look like water is coming out of that. Almost like a little waterfall. Uh, and I think that's going to look great. But you know what we do? What we've been doing. We're going to make a roof. Um, this is going to have a, a similar roof to all the other builds. So let's go ahead and do that. I know a lot of people said there's not, not enough detail in the roof. Believe me, we're going to add detail to it later. Just not right yet. We haven't, haven't quite got there yet. But we will. We will. Believe me. We will. And uh, this is going to be another one of those tall, uh, weirdly slanted roofs. There we go. I mean, it's not too difficult, honestly, to build build these roofs. That's what's really nice about them. They're very simple. Anybody can do it. It doesn't require a lot of material, which, uh, you know, a lot of times people struggle with getting the materials they need. Um, so this definitely helps with that. I mean, uh, I don't know how you guys look at it, but I mean... You know, in my opinion, that's that's why I'm building these like this. So, because I've done a lot of videos and I've done a lot of, a, a lot of builds and I've built a lot of roof, a lot of roofs <laughs> and a lot of different build styles. So, um, it, I'm just, you know, I kind of go with a theme and then I wrap my builds around that theme, much like any anybody uh, that, that builds or that I know that, that does builds, they do the same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. Uh, yeah, building's not hard. Coming up with the ideas for the builds, that's hard. Really, that, that's the hardest part. So, we're going to mirror that on the other side. As you can see, it is going to leave us a little bit of space over here um, in which we're going to have to cover. But it's this is going to be covered with stone brick. Um, and I think what we might do is extend that with a slab. And that will, that will actually make it look a little bit nicer. Because right now, it's not... It doesn't look the best. It doesn't look the best. But we'll make it look better. We'll make it look better. I promise. And we'll do the same over here. One, two, three, four. As you can see, I did miss that spot over there. I did do it a little bit wonky. Um, it needs to go here. Then up. Then up one. Right. And I think I messed up again on this side. I have the two. Let me check. This is supposed to be two here. One here. There we go. That looks better. This looks like garbage. What did I do wrong? Did that. Did that wrong. All right. That looks better. And then uh, we'll get rid of that and that. So, yeah, we're just going to repeat the same thing on this side. It's going to be a little bit different, but right now we're going to leave it as is. Um, and what we're going to do is on the same spot here, uh, we're going to be able to build up and do the same platform. Because like I said, this is going to be the main section. And then these are going to be sort of fillers. And then I'll show you how to build the roof for those. All right. So now that I get the majority of the roof done, I'm going to kind of show you guys here in a minute how exactly the roof shape is set up. Um, but you can already see that the back here 
yeah, this thing has been significantly changed. Um, and it doesn't, you know, kind of go with everything else, but it does fit. Believe me, it's going to fit as we go. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get our pieces set up here. And uh, we're going to trace the outline. Same as uh, we've done before. Just kind of trace the outline, and then we're going to use our wand. And make sure you start with the main section first. That is sort of a thing. Because if you don't do the main first, everything else is going to... You're going to have a hard time fitting everything else in. Alright, so the main is the, the part that we're going to pull across. There we go. Just like that. And as you can see, it's same wood type, the uh, dark oak, and that's going to fit with everything. And then uh, we're going to move on. I'm going to do this section because I think this one is taller than that one. So it's best to do this one first. And we're going to extend this. And all these roofs, like, you, you just kind of uh, vary the amount of height in each section. And you'll get these kind of peaked, roof, or peaked roofs, um, as you see. And uh, I think they look really good. All right, once you get to this, you can see here that it didn't quite fill this top section all the way. And we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Nice. All right, and then last but not least is this section here. And uh, we'll kind of extend this all the way over. There we go. Let's go ahead and fill this part. And like I said, adding detail is something we're going to do later on. Right now, it's detailless, pretty much. Pretty much has no, really no detail whatsoever. I mean, it is just, you know, your standard base blocks. That's about it. Uh, but as you see, we're going to extend that over. And this is what you're left with. We have a building that covers everything and leaves nothing but the main entrance. And I think what I might even do... I think this is too too low for even what it's set at. So we're going to add this to that section. There we go. That's fitting. But as you see, it's dark and there's no button here. I'm going to put my button inside here. Let's grab that. So the button's going to go in this wall. So we need to remember that when we go back here. And we go into our redstone cave. That's pretty much what it is. What it has turned into. Um, and there needs to be a block right here. And uh, what we can do is actually move this. It doesn't matter what block. I'm just going to place wood for here right now. Um, grab our redstone. We'll turn our redstone and set it like that. And that should power that block. Oh, wait. No, it needs to be... Uh, I think... Is is, the, is this top section actually the... The one... It's this... This one's the one that powers everything. Because that's not going to do anything. Oh, man. Did I break all the redstone? I did. Pretty sure I did. Uh, yeah, because this... The redstone needs to go into here. So this technically needs to be the block that it's touching. But I can do what I've done to the other other part and make it so that this is actually where the button resides. So I can place that there. Put the button on the inside. Then this will work. This will work as promised. There we go. And uh, it should lower. It should lower. If we put the button here, that totally should work. I'm sort of scared to try it because I don't have water underneath. Somebody tell me to put water in the bottom just in case you do fall out of the world. Which I uh, have had happen, <laughs> which is not good. As you can see, my experience uh, is kind of dwindled there. But yeah, look at this. I mean, it does look... it's, it's okay. Um, it does need to have some uh, touch-ups done. You know, and then we also need to enclose the top pieces. But for what it is, it looks really good, in my opinion. Um, we did have the wood kind of stop here, but like I said, this is going to actually be changed. But for, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. We can cap the tops and add all kinds of different detail to this. But, uh, I mean, it gets the job done. It, it really does. And this is ugly. This is super ugly. This needs to change. That's where I think we're, we're going to eventually add a uh, water fountain or something here. To kind of function a little bit better. So it actually looks more realistic. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it fits. It's a nice little elevator thing. And as we go in here and yeah, we just come in here and it works. 
We do need to get some lights, though. So, lamps. There is such thing as a lit lamp, um, which is going to be what I want to make. Um, so I should have enough uh, glow to make two of those or something like that. I think two would be fine. Make two lamps and then we'll invert them. And that looks really good. Really good. I'm going to clear this out. And uh, we're going to put the lamps here. It is going to show up on the other side. Um, ow. <laughs> but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's showing up on the other side. It, it, I want to light these buildings. I don't know how exactly to light them, but it may go along with uh, lighting a lot of them with these redstone lamps because they are really nice from Quark. Um, that do add the inverted, which is a thing that should be in, a, in vanilla. This should be a vanilla thing. Inverted lamps. They look so good. And just, you know, your regular old uh, glowstone is just so... Man, I've never liked playing gl glowstone. But this looks really good. Um, well, that was a quick and easy build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, now that we have this done, all we have left to do is test it. To see if it actually works. Oh boy. Let's do this. We pushed it. It starts to drop. Oh no no. Yep, we're dead. <sighs> yep. And that's one of the issues with this. So, having water down here might be something that we have to do. Um, because falling out of that... Oh, man. Uh, we could probably try as well adding maybe two layers underneath, um, and that might help. I don't know. Um, the only way to actually... We need a, another option for, uh, for getting this back up, so... Yeah, that's going to be a thing. Hmm. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and grab, <laughs> grab our stuff. Uh, we have to grab some things, I guess, because all of our stuff is technically at the bottom of that. And I don't think we could survive that drop. It is a pretty far drop. Well, let's go in here. Let's see. Um, bucket. Water. Uh, let's do a lever or pick. Let's grab our pick. I did throw that in here. I didn't want to use all of it, but uh, we're going to have to use it now. Um... We'll have that. We can go ahead and redstone button. We need an emergency switch, so this is going to help. There we go. All right, so we have our, our button, we have our redstone, we have our diamond. We're going to go ahead and get our, our thing up and hope that it doesn't break the second time we try this. Maybe if I just jump as we go down, it won't do that. All right, so let's put our emergency switch back here um, in some form. We can possibly set this. Huh, how do we do that? I guess we could just, it won't work if we power this. We, we may just have a door we can get to that's back here. I mean, because that's going to be our only option. Is possibly have a door. And let this thing come back up. Yeah, it's pretty dark down there. Um, that's what these lamps are going to be very helpful for. But now the issue is, I got to get down there. And if this thing doesn't let me get down there without breaking... Oh boy, are we in trouble. All right, I'm going to try jumping, or I'm going to try standing next to these pillars here. And I'm holding the jump key. No, 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 no. And there, we're dead again. Oh, that's the only issue, guys, with the Better With Mods stuff. I don't know, with the Better With Mods pulley and, and elevator, there's a good chance you can die. Let's go ahead and sleep. So at this point, I honestly don't know what would help, um, but, you know, help the falling. Because I did manage to come down here and get all my stuff again. Um, I had to basically stand pretty far on the top of this thing as it was going down um, and kind of work my way. I did add another platform underneath here, thinking that that might help as well. 
not so much. Um, and the only other solution that I come up with is just in case, just in case, I added a emergency area right here. So underneath this, made this button, is an emergency drop zone. Uh, we don't want to be standing directly in the center. Um, the reason is, is because, bam, we're right here on this drop zone. And yeah, this is going to be our only route is up here. Now, we can hit this button to uh, from here if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is going to be our route up. <laughs> it's our emergency, our emergency area to hurry up and get back up here as the platform starts to fall. Um, that's going to be our only, only option, only safe option. If I can hit the button, there we go. So as this starts to fall, you can see there, <laughs> things are slowly but surely working and this is coming back down and we're going to try to go back up. But as I can say, uh, as I said before, I just won't stand in the center um, because I made this too deep. That way I won't die whenever I fall in the water and uh, we won't have to worry about it. But you can see this is too Two platforms in depth, and it still, still gives an uh, it gives an issue, um, especially if I stand if I stand in the center, it causes even more problems. But yeah, it kind of it's supposed to not make you go through the the floor. Maybe it's because I was looking at the ground. That can cause issues as well. I don't know. I know if I stay perfectly still, I have a better chance of not going, <laughs> not falling. So once you get on this thing, just don't move. And don't stand in the center. That's the only other options, guys. But man, this looks really good. It looks really good. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this build. I really am. This looks phenomenal. All right. So enough, enough of me talking about that. <laughs> I have some big plans, guys, uh, in the future. We have a couple, uh, uh, some new stuff that's going to be coming real soon. Um, it's not technically, it's not this pack related, but it is some awesome news. We do have some really cool stuff coming in the future. I hope you guys are loving these Let's Plays. I mean, I love making them. I love doing them. I love playing through the, the packs, progressing. Uh, we have a lot to do, uh, even with progression in this pack that, that we've kind of missed. Um, that we haven't uh, really worked too much on. Um, I mean, potions. Potions is a big one. I mean, we have not worked too much on the potion aspect of this. So at uh, Rustic, we really we're gonna have to to get through Rustic because Rustic has some stuff that allow us to fight the Wither effortlessly. Pretty cool. Um, we also need looting. I don't know how expensive the looting enchant is. It's not that bad, but we do need to farm some levels. So let's be something I'll be probably doing off camera. Look at these houses as they're starting to kind of work their way through. Um, if I grab some shears, shears are a good way. I mean, in, in any any means, we'll take some shears. We'll take. I'm gonna take some of this because uh, just adding different types of vegetation and stuff adds to the way things are gonna look. So I'm just gonna take some of these and we're gonna place them down all around this build. All around it so you know how before I mean this isn't very much right that we got right here but just adding a, a bit of it like that I mean that adds a whole bunch man we just fallen all the time um, yeah just getting up in here and adding uh, adding some leaves that just it just looks good in the in the corners that are kind of you know uh, that kind of look boring you can kind of throw some leaves in um, throw some leaves in the bottom. You know, kind of build build up around the, the house. <laughs> Thing, any, anything like this, man, just adds so much. It really does. Little little bits and bobs and details. I know it's getting dark, but uh, yeah, let me come back when it's daytime. Let me go sleep. Man, night cycles just don't last long enough. That is, a, that is one thing. I know there's a mod that increases that, but I did see it has a lot of issues with a lot of other mods. Um, but yeah, look at that. We can kind of just cover... Little things like this, and it just adds a little bit of extra detail to everything. I think even adding adding some right there looks good. I think I think jumping up here would probably be a good idea as well. Going all the way up to the roof and pulling it down from the roof from these uh, these corners here. 
How cool is that? Like, pop up here, come down. Make it look like it's all one central plant. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. This will also help add to things. You know, seeing a little detail in the roof and, and stuff like that is not, not bad at all. There we go. Look at that. A little bit of detail. A little bit of detail never hurt anybody. But it definitely does add to the theme that we're going with. The kind of rustic um, tavern or, or tavern uh, medieval kind of uh, build. Which I think looks really good. Perfect. Yeah, this looks even more grown up than before. Um, we don't have this filled out, but I'm not too worried about having it filled out yet. Um, we probably will just use wood and leave it open. So you you can kind of see some of the inner workings. Um, we may even set this... Uh, like this upper part here. With like a window into that. Maybe put glass there? Would that be a thing? Would that look good? Having a pane, window pane here? I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on that one. Kind of iffy there. Maybe if we did two up. Kind of see out of that. Because we can't go down lower because then it would kind of be blocking everything. And if we did it on this side, it would be just really dark. I don't know. What do you think? We put one here. Letting in some natural light. Yeah, let's just break this. Let's break that. Throw our old stuff back up there. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Same on this side. Put a little window here so you can actually look in and see the redstone work. That's not bad at all. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know, kind of a let's build episode, really. It's exactly what it was. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay.